Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I'm gonna be showing you a little something I call Ender Games. What you need is you need redstone torches, you need some obsidian, and you'll only be able to do this in creative or have cheats on or a mod or something because you need a spawn egg. Oh, 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 forgot the secret ingredient. TNT. Okay, so you can really make this any size. I'm just gonna do a 10 by 10. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here, I'm gonna have it on peaceful for now until of course games are ready sometimes it can take a while before the action starts though but I like to spice it up a bit to make it so the more the, the good stuff <laughs> I guess I don't know I just like to make it so a little more I'll just I'll just say I like to blow it up a bit more than normal. Okay. Made that too big. Okay, so you so so you see the obsidian and TNT and you can already tell and the redstone torches. You can already tell that it that that why the you can already tell well why don't I just tell you what it is now because you guys probably already know it and you probably saw a bunch of other people's videos some other people's videos about it if they made any okay so so basically what it is is there's a little room where you spawn some endermen and, and trap them in with one with some TNT e and then an enderman picks the TNT and then eventually they'll all sp all go out of the little room and then mm, the enderman will just place the TNT and boom he kill he kills himself usually and his friends so yeah Hmm, do I have world edit installed? Nah, I don't. Just chicken. Yeah, make sure you put the ring outside because I don't think you want Enderman walking out in the middle of the games. Okay, so except as you can see it has to be two blocks tall so they can't just jump out. There's other ways you could design this, but this is just my simple way of designing it. Sometimes I like adding elements or something to the game, so once I had small little water pits inside the arena. Okay, so we have that now. Let's make. Hmm. I'm gonna make the spawn room a bit different. So, so there's not. Good, okay. Okay, so here I'm just gonna do this actually.
and obviously you need this and actually I might want to actually do this so they can't can't just wait no that won't work anyways because duh. wait yeah it would work because they might pick up one TNT and then they could hop like that so yeah let's have that there and you want to have a roof above their head so they won't teleport out so so I kind of just gave it away that's what we're going to be doing to this whole arena next we're going to make doesn't matter how how high up you make it as long as the enderman can fit in the arena so yeah you can probably already tell what this is going to be like No. Okay, so and then sometimes Endermen survive, so I also like to in the arena I like to add some TNT that they can grab in the corners. Just so yeah. It makes the games be able to go by faster. I don't know why I did that. Makes the uh, games be able to go by faster and it lets it so if there are some survivors after th those blasts, they can still kill each other. And usually I refill the corn earners sometimes, but if it's like only like two ooh, Endermen left and one of them is already holding TNT or if both of them happen to be holding TNT then I'll just I won't refill the corners because that would be useless but I like to have it kind of spaced out so oh one of these corners one blasts off one of those except actually I don't know okay so I'll spawn in six Endermen for this oh duh Easy mode is good. So six Endermen for this round. The only thing I'm gonna keep is TNT in my inventory and we do another round. Oh jeez. Oh 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 we have a blast. Ooh. Oh. Oh yeah. It doesn't really matter if they're able to hop up here. Oh, he placed it right here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna refill these. No, it's the last two. It doesn't matter. So that's the one I just placed. Okay. Oh. Handy tip with ender pearls. Ne never right click with one looking straight down. Oh jeez. Forgot about this. Uh, it doesn't matter. The redstone torches are living so it's fine. Hmm, I am gonna refill the corners. And actually, just to keep the games going a bit. Spawn in some more Endermen in the spawn box. Uh, I guess I'll call it that. Spawn box. Uh, we're probably gonna miss something. Right. Oh, one of the TNTs were grabbed. I probably said that sentence. It's wrong, but whatever. one two three survivors left so I am just gonna leave it to them now I may have to cut some footage out of this though so yeah uh, okay there we go <sighs> here let me refill it 
because when it's down to the last two, uh, 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 that's when I stop refilling the TNT. I don't know why I'm refilling this when it's just gonna go boom again. Oh, that's, there's that ender pearl I tossed. Ooh, the night ender games. The ender games are coming mm, closer to the night. This has been a short video, so I'll probably do, I'll probably like pause it and add on something to it. Oh, oh, oh. He's holding TNT. I'm just gonna like block this area off from them now so they don't place their TNT in there. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. I'm gonna add <coughs> some torches until they explode. <laughs> Cause I know the torches will probably explode right away, but I want you guys to be able to see it. Okay, so now we just need to wait for him to place it. Come on, place it. How hard is it to place a block of TNT? Yep, I'm in the games now. I'm in the <laughs> Ender games. I guess horrible, not that good at Ender cam. Actually, that one won't count. And this stuff won't count either. So I picked up a piece of TNT. Ow. Ah! Ah, what? Oh, it's just me and him! Ooh. Ah, oh, dang. Okay. Okay, so let's have him go boom now. Okay, so yeah. That was Ender ga the Ender Games then. So yeah, and this is why you do not look straight down and toss an ender pearl. Oh, what the heck? I guess it was something with 1.2.4 then, because cause he did that in 1.2.4 and that messed it up. And why is there a piece of TNT right here? Okay, so yeah, that was the ender games then. I'll probably like pause the recording here and add something on to this is since it was a short su <laughs> since it was such a short video. Okay, so yeah, let me do that. No. Oh. Hmm. So many random worlds. So yeah, we're back now, and this is my how to build. Hold, I guess I'll show you how to build something for the rest of this time, because that was seriously less than eight minutes, and I have a lot more time to record than that, so I don't like making videos that are too short, so I'll probably just add on something. So yeah, I recorded a video on how to build a, st a sticky piston door. I'm not sure if I'll ever upload that though. But yeah, this is a working sticky piston door. So but what sucks is that I never, I do not know 
how what to show you guys how to make. Hmm. Technically, this would also count as a how to make game because it was a how to make the Ender games. So I guess this will just be an extra part of randomness then. <laughs> Until I figure out what I want to do. Village. Hmm. Ooh. Never thought about trying to do this. Huh. Oh, wait. Would this work? Good. If there was a wall right here, then yeah. Okay, so I don't need that there. If you've ever seen one of those things where where you have to have two people standing on you, there has to be people standing on and both presser plates needs to open a door. Well, that's kind of what I'm going to make now. Because, as you can see, if I just, like, put something on there. Wait, that didn't work right. I can't see that, so I'll just, like, I'll just, like, direct the redstone of that over here. So if we do this, then that redstone would become powered. So, yeah, but I'll get rid of this now. And yeah, most of you guys, is if you're a redstone expert, which I'm actually not that good at redstone stuff. I actually started doing a bunch of this redstone stuff not too long ago. So yeah, this is basically just a way to make one of those doors, and I'm actually going to do... One of these again. Hmm, I want to make the door... Uh... Hmm... I want to make the door right here. So for that, I'd actually have to go down one, I think. Yeah, that looks about right. I'm going to have to dig around this now, though. That is not what I wanted to do. I, I didn't want to go down. Actually, <laughs> fail. Oh well, it's easy to fix. And I'll just get rid of that then. <coughs> okay, so there we go. So if we get the wooden presser plate back. The door will open. Actually, having a, th a three-player map, it has to be three players, three-player map where, oh crap, I'll just put that back, where it's basically so two of the players have to be standing on these presser plates, so then the third player can go in here and hold the door open for them. So yeah. So this is basically just the basic redstone thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything else onto this. I want to, but I'm not really sure. So, hmm. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 
So yeah, I'll probably just end up ending the video off right about here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Minecraft video. Signing off and...